So, this is Pat Gunn, and we're playing Skyrim. So, since the last, um, since the last chapter, I actually have taken my smithing skill up to 100, and that has leveled me twice. I have uh, trained in alchemy a little bit uh, during that time using a trainer, but I haven't spent either of the perks that, that, I got, uh, that I got, so I will do that now. So, I'm taking Dragon Armor, which will open up the, um, the ability to, cra uh, to craft Dragon Plate and Dragon uh, Scale Mail, as well as uh, Dragon Weapons. And, uh, I guess I'm also going to take my first uh, Alchemy uh, perk. Now, at some point, I want to get alchemy all the way up to uh, purity, <clears throat> because any anything that I craft now as an alchemist is going to have a mix of positive and negative effects if it has ingredients that have both whatever I'm aiming at in common and something else in common, and if those uh, if some of those are positive and some of, some of those are negative. The stronger I get my alchemy skill, the more of a pain in the butt that's going to be. So getting purity will cause um, whatever the primary effects are to determine whether it's positive or negative, and it'll filter out all of the other kind, which will basically make whatever you're making just a whole lot easier to deal with. <clears throat> and of course, I'm also going to try and get uh, the alchemist skill, or the alchemist perk, up to its maximum level. But I'm not going to wor uh, work on that too much right now. For now, I'm going to go and uh, rescue Esburn from the Ratway. And I'm going to probably join the Thieves Guild down here. So, down we go. Now, because I'm aiming to replace uh, my full set of gear, except for maybe the uh, the rings and amulet, and because I'm hoping to do pretty much the same thing for uh, Jazargo, I am going to want to get a lot of. Um, I don't know, Drop. They skin us alive if they knew we were doing this. Is someone there? I'm going to want to have a lot more uh, filled uh, Grand Soul Gems. I'm gonna crush you like a bug. Oh, really? Unfortunately, this was not the smartest place to summon a, a Frost Atronach. He seems to be stuck, and he's not attacking, and he's blocking my, uh, blocking my way. Jizargo is somehow managing to hit through my uh, Atronach. Anyhow. So while I have some grand soul gems, I don't have any uh, any spare black soul gems, so I'm not able to actually do much with these guys. So I actually keep bound sword in the right hand and see if I can level my one-handed skill and my uh, Maybe my shield skill, if I can enable it quick, uh, quickly enough when I get into combat. Always happy to get some more garlic. I don't think cats actually like eating garlic. Jarba, move, move. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. 
Okay, so this is a guy who I mentioned earlier. He is wearing a... Oh, I just can't see anything here. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, Yan the Fist. He is wearing a unique set of gloves, the gloves of the uh, Pugilist, and they have an enchantment on them that improves... Oh, come on. Really? that improves unarmed damage and if you are going to be doing a run where you're not doing any weapons which is a lot of fun but it's kind of tough you're going to want to head down here and somehow manage to beat him early but you're going to have a pretty tough time doing that at, uh, at low levels Yeah, you would, you would want to make a beeline down here, grab those gloves, disenchant them. Oh. And actually, I took a pretty good amount of damage there. I'm not sure if Juzargo accidentally hit me, or if she just happens to be that good with, um, with her weapons. Okay. So pickpocket is a skill that I don't really use very much, but... If you do play the game a little bit differently, you might find yourself using it a lot. I guess the problems are that it's a skill that unless you're stealing from sleeping people, you're going to need to um, have your sneak skill very, very high. Those days are over. Well, well. Color me impressed, lass. I wasn't certain I'd ever see you again. Reliable. So, now that I've whetted your app, the OR, I want you to explain to them. Kidava, do this right, and I can plump. Honestly, the debt is a word of warning, though. I don't. Good. If you need any details on your marks, I'll. He's as. The key is that ugly dwarf. Kidava. So, this is the intro quest for the Thieves Guild. Don't so. Yeah. I bet I know your guy. He's hiding out in the Ratway Warrens. Paying us good coin for nobody to know about. You better have coin to pay I'll be here place. when you're done. Okay. If looking for conversation, the flagon is the place. So the flagon, it's a um, speakeasy that's uh, that's down in the thieves. Well, down in the sewers here. I think I see a guard-looking dude. Oh, these are Thalmor. And uh, you will notice that I turned the music off. That's because I just noticed when I uploaded one of the previous episodes that the uh, the Google content flagging uh, service it uh, it flags my uh, my video as. Um, as having content belonging to uh, uh, Jeremy Soule uh, because it managed to recognize the songs from the soundtrack in the video. So I decided, although the soundtrack is certainly very good, it's probably better that, I, um, that I'm not included in these so that I have more control over the videos um, on YouTube.
so we're going to continue our way down here. So I'm guessing that these actually weren't uh, intended originally as sewers. And that these might have been intended as a uh, shelter of, uh, of some kind. is the only place in the game where you really come across tiny chests. Okay, so it's a little bit to the left. Let's try further to the left. Looking good. So I'm slowly replenishing my supply of lockpicks, which is good. we go. So I, um, I guess I could put on my smithing gear and improve, uh, actually, let's see, can I make Oh no, this is an improving uh, table, not a smithing table. Huh. I seem to be failing at... Maybe this is where uh, where I want to be going. Yep. But I believe that there are some foes in this area, so... Yeah, this this definitely seems like the kind of place that would be Yes. Hook. Yes. Bucket. Yes. That would be good for uh, emergency uh, shelter maybe during a siege or some kind of a natural disaster. So she is a crazy person, and we are going to leave her alone in there. He's another crazy person. So here's a mad chef looking dude. We'll just leave him be. I don't know what you're talking about. Filthy? How do you... So, so you... So, you'd better come in and tell me how you found it. What you want. This will just take a moment. So that this is... is always... There we go. So he apparently has a lot of locks on this door. Give me a couple more. <clears throat> Of course, in real life, I don't think that many locks is normally going to help you because uh, there we are. once you get enough locks on a door, then it just becomes easier to destroy the door That's better. than, uh, no. oh, well, Gisargo. So, Delphine keeps up the fight after all these years. 
I thought she'd have realized it's hopeless by now. I tried to tell her years ago. Haven't you figured it out yet? Aldrin, the dragon from the dawn of time. No one. I tried to tell them. They wouldn't listen. Yeah. Okay, yes. so... Yes. Oh, only it's We're going to try and speed through this. Um, but, uh... But the point of it is that a prophecy dragon that was going to end the world is uh, has uh, come to actually bring Armageddon, and that my role here is to actually fight him and delay the prophecy to end the world. Not sure why you would keep a bowl with salt on your desk. That's kind of weird. Although I think uh, he's meant to be kind of weird. See, is there anything else that we need here? Let's be off. Okay. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, we've been followed by uh, Thalmor. But fortunately, I'm pretty well armed. Oh, why, hello there. back on and say hi to Esbern. Where did he go? Okay. Oh, Jasargo killed that crazy dude. And I'm not sure where our friend went. Is he... Did he drop down here? Oh, hi. Um... Yes? Yes, yes. We should proceed cautiously. Okay, so he has a blade and and we are trying to escape. Move it, dude. Did you hear that? Go. We should keep moving. Yes, we should. Uh, Esbern? Did you hear that? We shouldn't be that cautious. Goodbye. No, don't goodbye me. Trying to escape here. Okay, now where did he go? I wonder if. Um, I was sure I had the quest marked. Ah, uh, yeah, there it is. So where is he? I guess what we'll just do is head out and hopefully he will, uh, I definitely will have to light up the way a little bit. Hopefully he'll follow. That's not the right spell. Oh, that's clairvoyant. Wait, wait, where is... Apparently he's held a grudge for a while against uh, this other guy. Oh no, no, this is uh, a Thalmor spy. Okay, well, out we go. Now this exit is actually not quite as easy as it would have been had we uh, done more of the Thieves' Quest. Uh, Thieves Guild quest because they have a kind of elaborate entry escape system. Oh, I guess I missed the coin purse last time. There's also a chest here. Oh, 
and it is almost all the way to the right. Let's try it like this, maybe a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Draven spell. Well, I haven't heard of it, and it doesn't have any visible enchantments, but I will grab it because it looks unique. Let's keep moving. I think actually if we make our way to the exit, he will warp to join us. So we don't need to be too worried about making sure he follows us closely. Um, and uh, yeah, there was a marking on the wall there that was uh, looked a lot like the marking on that chest back there. Stay out, or there's gonna be trouble. That is one of the silliest catchphrases I have ever heard. And that is definitely not the right, uh, right spell to hurt them. But conjuring a Frost Atronaut seems appropriate here. And then I will summon myself a sword and get my shield out. I'm not sure why I'm not not doing a lot of damage. But Chizargo is doing an admirable job at chopping these dudes up. Okay. Looking good. But there is a foe somewhere behind that wall. Well, doesn't matter. Let's pull the lever and... I'm guessing he's downstairs somewhere. We do not need to actually bother facing him. Unless he... Oh! So that's the, uh, the, the other Khajiit who was bothering us in the market. And she is another Thalmor agent. Okay, so we are done here. I have to step outside and head back to Delphine um, with Esbern and Jazargo. Well, we can fast travel from here. Yeah, fast travel does make these quests a lot easier. I'm not sure if if we decided not to fast travel and hoofed it the whole way back. I'm not sure if we would see any unusual encounters or not. I've never done that, largely because it would take a long time. But it might be worth trying uh, trying that sometime. Seems almost kitschy to have on your shield a picture of two uh, two swords. It would be kind of like having plates that had engraved on them pictures of hamburgers or something like that. Like it's an overrepresentation for something where its uh, purpose is uh, is really pretty obvious.
Anyhow. We are back here. And we want to go and visit Delphine, who manages the inn. While we're here, we might mage up some of the equipment that we um, that we looted. But I will try and do that quickly so that we don't. What is it? Oh, you haven't spotted. Delphi. Why? <laughs> it's good to see you. It's been a long time. It's good to see you too, Esper. It's been too long, old friend. Too long. Well, then. You made it safe and sound. Good. Come on. I have a place we can talk. I wonder where that could be. Okay. So, I'm not sure if they'll interrupt my enchanting or not. Okay. Might as well disenchant that just to have the, uh... Oh, I don't have any weak, weaker soul gems. Apparently I didn't kill many critters while I was down there. Okay. So, do what you gotta do for your cutscene. Now then, I assume you know about... Oh yes, Dragon Ball. Indeed, yes. Well, this changes everything, of course. There's no time to lose, so we must locate it. Let me show you. I know I had it here somewhere. Esvern, what? Give me just a moment. Oh. Ah, here it is. Come, let me show you. You see, right here, Sky Haven Temple. Constructed around one of the main Akaviri military camps. And you can look at this, and you can see that he actually has a map. And, uh, you can see the long history of the place. During their conquest in the sky. Do you know what he's <coughs> talking about? Shh. This is where they built Aldrin's Hall to sit down and store all their accumulated dragon. A hedge against the forgetfulness of centuries. A wise and foresighted policy in the event. Despite the far reaching fame of Aldrin's Hall at the time, one of the wonders of the ancient world, its location was lost. So one of the ways that I think uh, the graphics are a little bit inaccurate is that the eyes uh, eyes of people tend to shine a little bit. Let's pretend we have it. What's Alduin's Wall, and what does it have to do with stopping the dragons? Alduin's Wall was where the ancient blades recorded all... Okay, come on guys, get on with it. Part history, part profit. His location has been lost to centuries, but I found it not lost, it's just forgotten. The Blades archives held so many secrets. I was only able to save a few scrolls. So you think that Alderman's wall will tell us how to defeat Alderman? Well, yes, but no guarantee. Skyhaven Temple it is, then. Okay. And I knew you'd have something. I know the area of the reach that Esbern's talking about, near what's now known as Karth's Fire in the Karth River Canyon. We can meet you there, or all travel together. Your call. Let's, uh... Your call. Mike, don't worry. I'll get Esbern there in one piece. We'll wait for you near... Actually, Karth. Esbern is probably a little bit stronger than she is in combat uh, as a summoner. Although I, I do kind of, uh, this is a little bit of a touching, well, touching is the wrong word, but there's kind of a, when she makes it up here, she tells the barkeep, 
Zed. The inn is yours. And probably never coming back here. Well now, that's something to think about. Take care of yourself, Old Yarn. Goodbye. Yeah, sure. You too, Delphine. You'll be safe. Yeah, so the inn was just a, a cover for uh, for years of uh, of using this as her base. Okay, so now we have a whole bunch of quests. We've advanced this one. Uh, we do have a few things that we can take care of. I'm going to head back to Riften and start making my end game gear and also uh, do these quests for the Thieves Guild. And as I was doing before, I'm going to attempt to uh, keep advancing, uh, advancing the, uh, uh, the, quest, uh, the quest lines for uh, multiple quests, uh, advancing multiple quest lines at the same time based on whatever is uh, nearby. So that means vampires, civil war, and uh, dragons at this point. Maybe Thieves Guild too. Because some of the later Thieves Guild quests uh, do get kind of involved. If that material is metal, I can't think that moving around would be very comfortable. There was a fight down in the Rathway, but reports sort of sketchy. Some say it was Tamaragans, others. Do I have any dragon uh, scales on me? Yes, I do. Okay. So. For dragon scale armor, I actually don't have enough scales on me, nor enough leather strips. Wait, wh what armor am I wearing right now? Oh, I've been wearing my smithing armor, I think, the whole time, have I? Yeah, I have. Well, that's goofy. Did not mean to be doing that. I'll swing through here to take care of the one of the Thieves Skilled quest uh, bits. You look like you could here be for a room or some. I've already sense. told that before. Look around you. I'm barely keeping this rat hole together. The war seemed to that. Good, and t I'm not paying any of those the single best meat in town for ever. cheap. Interested? Now get out of my ear. What do you want? With the rumors going, I'm not that foolish. The last thing. Look, I'm only telling you that Kirava has some family at a farm just inside of Morrowind. Just please don't harm anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. Mm -hmm. I'm not paid. No, and I never will. How? Please, my family means too much to me. Very well. Here, Need take something. this back to Brynjolf and tell him he'll have no more trouble from me. So yeah, the, the quests to join the Thieves' Guild, you do feel kind of douchey after them. I don't know if that's because... Uh, these are people who have borrowed money, or uh, or something else. But my husband Bercy will be the death of me. He spends too much time so, learning about Mifton, right, well, not enough about so himself. So Brynjolf doesn't even bother to show up in petty prep. He demands payment. Don't fool yourself. It's all. Likewise, 
Now I have a lot to do, so I'm afraid you'll just have to leave. I'm sorry, you're going to have to leave. Well, Brynjolf, you'll just have to leave. Please, I don't have anything to pay you with. Don't destroy my urn! This isn't happening. I'm sorry, you're going to have to leave. Tell Brynjolf you'll just have to make do without my coin. Stop! That's priceless! Just pay them, Bercy. No! All right, I get it. Here, take your gold. And leave me in peace. Uh, sorry about the urn, dude. So I guess I'd, I'd like to think and hope that these guys borrowed money. Although even then it's kind of douchey. Well, more than kind of douchey. It's, it's douchey. Let's make sure... Yeah. It's you. Please. I know who you are. Please. There's no need for that here. Message understood. Here, I even have the payment. Look, I got okay. the message. What else did you want? That is pretty easy. Okay. So, we've taken care of the entry requirements for the Thieves Guild, and... Now we're going to craft ourselves some dragon stuff. And unlike my other uh, crafting, I'm actually going to show you this because uh, this is endgame gear. And apparently all this stuff is really pretty heavy. And uh, dragon gear, it's, uh, it's a little bit unusual for armor because uh, it, it actually weighs less than its components. Actually, Jizargo, can you hold the uh, dragon stuff for me? Okay. Good. And it looks like it is getting late, but that guy is still here. But I am already wearing my Smith-tastic outfit, which I really shouldn't have been wearing this whole time. Oh, and I need leather strips, so hopefully I can still buy them from Balamund. Yeah, he hasn't closed up his shop. So that is certainly a bit excessive, but... Okay, so... Oh, yeah, and, and I need to get these back from Jazargo. There he is. Jizargo has heard of the staff. Jizargo only has so much room to get it. So Jizargo is very excited about the staff of uh, staff of Magnus, but we're not going to have it for a while. We follow that. So, let us make. So, dragon plate, as you can see, is heavy armor. Dragon scale is light armor. So let's do dragon scale armor. Dragon scale. Uh, dragon scale shield, helmet, gauntlets, and boots. And while we're at it, uh, actually, we're going to improve all of those, and then we will see if we have materials left over to do dragon plate for uh, for Jizargo's outfit. So from 61 armor to 127, we're getting some pretty nice improvements here. Yeah, so that should just about max out our um, our armor rating. Come to see perform now let's see what we can do for Chizargo. So dragon plate armor, except we're running low on dragon uh, dragon scales now, but. Uh, 
and I don't remember whether we need dragon bones or dragon scale to improve uh, stuff like this. Let's see. Okay, it uses dragon bones. So there's some dragon plates. And uh, we can do a dragon uh, plate helmet. But unfortunately, that's pretty much the end of our dragon scales for now. So we'll have to take care of some of this later. Now I'm going to make myself a dragon bone sword and bow. And those will replace my old, uh, my old weapons. What brings you to battle? Let's see if I can... Okay, so I need dragon scales to improve the helmet. I really don't know what Draven's bow is all about. Let's improve it up nice. And now we no longer really need the, the glass bow. Might as well sell it. And then, uh... So the blade sword really has done us well through the game. It's almost as nice as a dragon bone sword. And with the dragon bone bow, that's 80. Glass bow is 71. You can see that if you have a high enough smithing skill, you can improve, uh... Take a look. You can improve, uh just moderately high level stuff up uh, up to be reasonably competitive with endgame gear. It's not fully competitive, but it's not uh, leagues off. Um, well, he can keep the tip. Okay, so we're at 634 out of 550. And I don't think we actually have enough grand, uh... Actually, Jezargo, you can take... You can hold my, um... Remaining dragon bones. Oh, that, that didn't bring me down under the weight limit. Do I have anything else heavy that I can give you? Yeah, some of these ingots. That should do. Ajit will follow. Good. And now he can come back here. Jezargo only has so much room to carry things. We'll take all the, uh, the heavy stuff back and store it in the chest. On, That's not what we're storing. We are storing crafting materials. So by the end of the game, I normally uh, have quite a lot of uh, this stuff stored away in here. I suppose uh, you could go through and sell most of this uh, this stuff, but once you have your speech uh, speech uh, skill up high enough and you have the uh, the right perks, you don't really have to worry too much about money, so I normally just tend to keep it. I am your so, for this we're going to put Draven's Bow... Oh, I guess it's a quest item, so I can't put it away. Well, that is kind of irritating. So we're going to put the Dragon Plate stuff um, away for now, until we have a full set. Uh, because I don't have the, uh, the needed uh, soul gems to actually enchant uh, all of it. And I don't think I'm actually even going to be able to uh, enchant my a full set of my replacement um, dragon scale gear. 
but I will enchant what I can. So I have how many grand soul gems? I have three plus the black star, so I can enchant four items. And uh, unfortunately, I have five items. So let's see, what am I copying? So if, uh, by copying, I mean that I'm going to keep the same uh, same enchantments that I have on my current gear. So for the shield, I want magic resistance and health. So actually, I'm going to change this to fortify block. give it a new prefix and actually I'm going to keep my old gear and I'll just put it on uh, this mannequin so and uh, now for the armor Right now my armor is Magicka Regen and Conjuration, uh, and the Conjuration dual type enchantment. So Magicka Regen and Conjuration. Here with the boots, I have a bit of a dilemma. There's an enchantment that I like to have that I haven't learned yet. So I'm probably going to enchant the, uh, the boots last, and they will be my hold hover. So for gloves, I want bow damage and light armor skill. That is just about the least readable. Anyhow, let's put, put my old gloves on the mannequin. For helmet, I have Magicka Regen and Bow.
But yeah, as you can see, I'm going to keep on wearing my boots until I can get that enchantment and until I have a spare uh, Grand Soul Gem to put on them. So that concludes this um, uh, this let's play. Uh, I will see you in the next one, but I probably will do a little bit of uh, housekeeping between uh, between uh, this and that.